Calling base. This is Optimus Prime. I need support. I have lost one of my wheels, and I need a tow back to base. Is someone out there who can help me? Hey Optimus, Hoist here. I heard your call. What can I do to help? Hey, as you can see, I've lost my wheel, and- Hey, Optimus, I'm bigger than that hoist. I can tow you back in. Alright, well, I, I just need a little help. Hey, Optimus, I'm a flatbed truck. I can put you right on my back and get you back in no time. Alright, I'm not sure which- Optimus, I'm the biggest hoist of all. What can I do to help? Alright, who's going to tow me back to base? I am! Well, that's just prime. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back into Transformers Toys for Kids. This week, I'm featuring four different hoist characters. We've got the two ones that are featured in previous videos, and then these two newer ones. So let's jump in and check them out. First up, we have the flatbed truck hoist, which when you pull his arms to the side, this little piece comes down, which is pretty cool, and he locks into place. Pull his legs apart a little bit, and there's hoist, that kind of flatbed truck. You see, it's got a pretty cool head sculpt there. Next up, got one that I've already featured before. I really like this one, because he has kind of a towing part that can move up and down here, and then a winch that can be pulled out and then pull back in. We'll have to do some funny things again with that piece later. He transforms the same way. You rotate his arms down, chest piece comes down, and the almost exact same head sculpt if we pull this one over. They look near identical. They do have some differences though, this being a much bigger version and the winch. All right, let's look at the two new versions of Hoist. One of the versions, Bring him on over here. You can see it looks like he has little pieces here that can be moved up and down to raise and lower part back here. To transform this version, you do the same. You open his arms up, but at the same time, you do have to pull this down so that his head can pop out. This has got an interesting head sculpt here. I don't think they based it on the show at all but this part does play a role in how he transforms. So whereas this, I can raise and lower this and it doesn't affect how he transforms, this one definitely does. Because if I raise it, he's gonna start transforming back into his vehicle mode. So let's get him back into robot mode and then you have to push this all the way down for him to transform fully. Last but not least, we have this version of Hoist. Oh, he already wants to transform. This part can move up and down. It doesn't affect his transformation. You'll see when I transform him, I have to push down on this piece because I think he was a little broke and I got him used. That's okay, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna push down this part, gets his head to pop up as he transforms, and this part comes down. So he's got a, a little bit of a more difficult transformation, but that's okay kind of pull his legs apart at the end and then take this and move it up, which is a little different than this guy whose hook is facing down, whereas this one's pointed up. But you'll notice they have the same head sculpt. So these two have the same head sculpt and then these two have the same head sculpt. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. Please come back every week for more fun Transformers Toys videos.